My name is Robbie Samuels. I'm a virtual event design consultant and an executive Zoom producer. And each week I share a little story to those that are following me on my email list. And I create it also as a video. Today's titled, Tuesdays are the worst days of the week. Five and a half years ago, when I first committed to hosting a podcast, I need to figure out what day of the week I should publish it. But as I started to do some research to figure out what was the best day for a podcast episode to be released, the answer I received was not the one I wanted to hear. It depends. A lot of it depended on who my audience was, but since I didn't have an audience yet, couldn't really figure out how to move forward. But then I overheard a conversation about Tuesdays. There's this woman and she says, Tuesdays are the worst days of the week. You'd think Monday was, but really, how much better is Tuesday? Well, that's when I decided that I had to have a Tuesday schedule so that there would be something for all of us to look forward to each week. I was thinking about that conversation as we neared 2021, and everyone was saying good riddance to 2020. The reality is 2021 isn't going to magically be better than 2020. Sure, there's now a vaccine, and of course, the small print, though, says that it's not going to stop you from getting the disease, just stop you from getting you know, deathly ill and dying, which is fantastic news. But it's not going to stop you from catching it and possibly passing it on to others, which means that we still need to do things like mask up. And of course, that's only if we're even eligible to get it, which for most of us, that's not going to be true for at least six months, if not longer. We're going to have to wear masks. We're going to minimize our time with non-household members indoors and also probably not gather outdoors in large groups either, which means generally we're going to be doing what we've been doing since March. But you know what's going to be different? Our attitude. Yeah. Rather than saying when something goes wrong, what do you expect? It's 2020. We'll be looking for ways that 2021 is better. And for that reason alone, 2021 will be a better year. Your challenge this week, 2020 disrupted a lot of plans. You may have had a three to five year plan, but it was thrown out the window in March and April. Well, now it's 2021. So it's time to look again three years out. What will be possible for you and your business in 2024? And what can you do this year to be ready for it? It's time to broaden your horizons. Try this and let me know how it goes.